Nation, ghost workers. Corruption on the waterfront sounds like a throwback to another time, but a number of dock workers at Port Tampa Bay insist it is going on right now and right here, and it's been happening for years. Eight on your side, investigator Mark Douglas has been looking into allegations of union fraud for months now and joins us tonight with what you've discovered. Well, Stacy and Keith, these allegations of payroll fraud on the docks of Tampa Bay started with a whisper back in November. They have now triggered an internal investigation by the district officers of the International Longshoremen's Association. And tomorrow, that union's international leadership will hold a hearing in Tampa that may decide the fate of local union leaders. Tonight, you'll hear directly from the whistleblower who started it. Evan Cotton says he's been working the docks of Port Tampa Bay as a cargo clerk for 50 years. Cotton's now a trustee for the pension fund that covers clerks and longshoremen, and he claims he's discovered payroll fraud. It seems like everybody wants to just sweep this under the rug. According to Cotton, one of those people is Longshoreman Union President James Harrell. Well, that's, I don't know nothing. Well, if you're not responsible, who is? Nobody. But Cotton claims somebody is responsible. I think it's criminal. Cotton tells me the Longshoreman's Union is handing out paychecks to people he's never met or heard of after a half century on the docks. He calls them ghost workers. A lot of money is involved that has been distributed to people who didn't earn it and a lot of people who have been deprived of that money. Cotton swears he's uncovered seven or eight ghost workers racking up thousands of hours on payroll rosters. One of them supposedly worked three cruise ships simultaneously. He had been turned in on timesheets for three different ships on the same day during the same hours collectively making 26 hours of overtime in that one single day. Longshoreman Charles Gibson has been on the docks for 42 years. You know pretty much who works the docks and who doesn't. Right. Gibson says the ghost workers Cotton found on the payroll are a mystery to him. No way they, they could uh, be on the dock and I don't see them. Not for that many hours. Longshoremen constantly compete for hours and failing to reach various benchmarks cost them thousands in bonuses, vacation and seniority. That means if ghost workers are on the payroll, they're basically stealing money right out of the pockets of longshoremen like Danny Riley. That hurts me. That hurts the man behind me. Hurts the man in front of me. Riley is so concerned, he wrote to a federal judge pleading for help. This need to be exposed. All three men you just heard from insist that Union President James Harrell and Vice President Leon Chandler have failed to address the ghost worker allegations. They claim Chandler has turned his back on them, and Harrell refuses to respond. Don't you know what's going on with your own union? Mm -hmm. You pay these sick. workers. I've been sick. I've been out sick. You've been I've out been sick? In the hospital. That's, I don't know nothing. Well, if you're not responsible, who is? Nobody. Nobody's responsible? Oh. Uh, these are serious allegations, sir. Turn the attorney. Get out of my these state. Are after tomorrow's hearing in Tampa, the ILA could suspend James Harrell and other local officers and appoint trustees under the union constitution. Now, Harrell is only the third local president in 82 years, and his forced removal would be quite remarkable. His predecessor, Perry Harvey Jr., was indicted for embezzlement back in 1991 and later found not guilty. So, sense of deja vu here. Yeah, and Perry Harvey Jr. had actually followed his father, Perry Harvey exactly. Sr. So, you're talking only three guys who've been running guys. this union. Absolutely. What about a federal? agencies are they investigating uh, I've talked to a few of them nobody will officially confirm anything but it's my understanding that yes there is a federal investigation underway in addition to whatever the union is doing tomorrow and beyond that serious allegations for sure sure thank find you find out if there's smoke if there is fire all right thank we'll you see. mark well